Hello, welcome to our new channel, Lipki Workshop. Today we want to show you how we made the first piece of wooden furniture on our CNC machine. So, let's start! Few words about conceptual design. The idea was to create organic shaped sink with light and delicate line. After few hand sketches we switched to Fusion 360 to prepare the proper model for CNC machine. As the built material for the project, we choose Uroco, African timber, mainly due to its moisture resistant properties and reasonable price. Whether it will survive the water treatment, we will definitely find out in the future. We started from planning the surface with the widest T slot end mill that we had. Surprisingly, the lumber was almost absolutely perfect without any twist or warpage, so we end up milling less than 3 mm on each side. To get better smoothness on the surface, the step over of the tool path was reduced to the 50% of the tool and the final effect turns out even better than we expected. The project requires that the final block will be at least 30 cm wide. That creates a little bit of problem. We don't have a jointer. So we decided to give CNC a try and prepare the planks using an end mill. After surfacing we end up with one and half meter long planks that we cut to length using a bond saw. Later on we prepared the edges for the joint using CNC machine. To our surprise it was working. Surfaces match to each other perfectly, allowing for easy bonding. After drying for 24 hours, we could start next plying task, preparing surfaces for the next bonding. We choose polyurethane glue with moisture resistance rate D4. Uh, we wiped each surface with acetone and sponge with water. Following the manual guideline, we applied glue on only one surface and spread using stiff roller. It looks like honey, but believe us, smell is not so sweet. And the last part, uh, film clamping. Time to break until that has a full set.
finally cutting the main shape of our basin. We had been waiting so long for this moment. With the fear in our eyes and hand near emergency button, we pressed the start. Shavings were huge, like 2 cm long, and their amount was unbelievable. We vacuumed few times manually during the milling process. We couldn't use our vacuum system in the same way it was used for planning task, because shape and depth of the sink doesn't allow for installation of the vacuum cap. To match shape of the model with dimension of spindle was the most difficult part of the design. Looking at this amount of shavings, we should probably start to think about some contract with Briquette Factory.